What is up, sports fans? My name is Jake Iggy, or Iggy for short. This is Iggy Sports Talk. I really appreciate everybody tuning in to episode 58 of Iggy Sports Talk. If you have not yet, go over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and subscribe to Iggy Sports Talk. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. I hope everybody's as excited as I am for this new tra- new chapter, new direction of Iggy Sports Talk, trying to connect sports with mental health and help people find the way to live their dreams and live this life to the fullest. I wanted to make this video to sort of explain some of my experiences with mental health and mainly anxiety. Uh, And it's kind of ironic too, because I had a little bit of anxiety uh, even recording this podcast, recording this video. Um, thinking in my mind, how would they look at this? How, how would different people, what would people take from this? You know, could this potentially affect me with jobs? Um, would some people take things the wrong way? But quite honestly, that's all really anxiety is. You, you're making up hypotheticals in your mind and manipulating your mind to think that that's actually the reality. And the reality of the situation is, as long as you are yourself, that's all that matters. Because we only get one life. We only get every second once. And how I've really been able to figure out how to control and relieve my anxiety starts and really ends with my perspective, my mindset. And that's something that I've really had to work on over the last three or four years that I've really recognized that I had anxiety. I've had an experience with anxiety, um, I believe, ever since high school. And I I think it's a lot stemmed towards social media. You know, I, I feel like a lot of people have anxiety with comparing themselves to other people that they see on social media or the people that they look up to or just friends around them. And trying to compare their lives to those people. And for me, having a positive perspective on life was huge. You know, spinning things in a way that would help my mind look at it in a a positive perspective. Like there's a lot of times when I had to go to work, I have to go to work, I have to go do this. But in all reality, you get to do that. Now, there's a lot of people out there who are, are unemployed, who are struggling right now, and I'm complaining about going to work. I mean, obviously, it's not something I've, you know, my, my work, I work at Dunga Donuts. I've worked there for a long time. I love the people that I'm around, but sometimes the work is pretty stressful. And in my mind, I try and make up hypotheticals that I have to go do this when I could be doing other things. But in all reality, I should just be grateful that I have a job and I have a car to go and get there. And even simpler, I woke up this morning. I'm breathing. <laughs> even even as simple as that sounds, there's some people who have breathing issues. You know, there's some people who have much worth, worse situations than I do. And the biggest thing for me was changing my lens. It's funny because... Uh, Mike Studd, he he has a podcast that's quite honestly changed my life Um, from the people that he brings on from sports athletes, different professionals. It's quite honestly changed the purpose of not only my life, but my career, seeing how he's been able to influence people's lives through his podcast, through his voice. It's really helped me want to do something similar with this podcast. But him and Evan Britton were talking about changing your lens, changing your perspective, on different things. And that's really the biggest thing is that you just need to try and change your perspective in figuring out what am I grateful for? Try to find the good in things instead of trying to pick out all the bad and negative parts of different situations. Another reason I would usually get anxious is I would stress about the future. Now for myself, I I just graduated college and all throughout senior year, you know, there's just this stigma within society that you have to find a job after graduation. 
obviously that's um, some people are confused when I say that they're like, well, you know, you don't have to. Well, most of the time after graduation, people ask you, so what's next? Oh, what job did you get? Just already assuming. And if you don't have a job, you start getting in your own head. You start getting anxious. Like, did I do something wrong? Like comparing yourself to other people. Like, look at what that person got. Like, why don't I have that? And going back to the mindset and perspective, something that has really helped me with deciphering different situations that go on in my life and looking at it in a positive light is remembering everything happens for a reason. Now, it's tough to fully grasp that perspective and thought, but when you've experienced some of the things that I've experienced, I mean, I'm not saying that my life is anywhere close to others. You know, we all have different experiences for a reason. We all go through this journey differently. And I believe that's why everything happens for a reason. Quite honestly, everything that I can remember that has happened in my life has led up to this point. I've always loved making YouTube videos. I've always loved trying to help people, influence people. I've always loved sports. And I feel like my purpose was to do exactly this, talk in front of a microphone, talk about sports, but also connect it in a little bit of a deeper way, because that's just how I've always been. But we look at different situations on why did this happen? Why does this happen to have to have to happen to me? You know, if something doesn't work out, Big Sean said it in a perfect way. If something doesn't work out, if something doesn't go exactly how I want it to, it's actually working out way better than I can even comprehend because all the dots connect, you know, like I said before, you only get every second once, you know, th there's an end goal at the end of this journey. There's a reason you are on this earth today. And obviously it takes a little bit to be able to find that purpose. It took a little bit for me. And obviously it's not going to be easy for everybody. Not everybody's going to have the same exact journey. But, you know, that's why we're all here on this earth together. We're all trying to figure out what the heck this is. We were just plopped on this floating rock in space that's spinning around with all these other people. We all have to go mingle. It's a pretty weird concept if you really think about it. But really going back to just the perspective of everything happens for a reason. If you try to look at every situation in your life and go at it in a way of this happened for a reason to help me and prepare me for something that could happen in the future. For every bad thing that has really happened in my life or what I looked at as bad, it's really helped me grow as a person. It's helped me be the person I am today. And that's really the whole concept of everything happens for a reason. And you, if you go at every day of life in that same perspective, I promise you, it's, it's going to change everything for you, everything, because everything I believe is set up for us. Kind of like I said, all the dots connect and every experience that you go through is supposed to happen to help you learn. And life's all about learning. Life's all about meeting other people and learning about their experiences and, you know, using them and comparing them to your own life experiences so you can learn from other people's experiences. That's one of the biggest reasons why I love interviewing others. And I'm so excited for the future guests that I'm going to have on. I got some pretty good guests lined up. So like I said, go and subscribe um, if you have not on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. But just hearing from other people's experiences and trying to learn something from them, I find it so fascinating. Because we all feel like we have it all figured out because we literally have information all at our fingertips. Like literally, if I wanted to look something up about the Egypt pyramids, let's say, I could look it up right now. I can tell you all about it. But in reality, just learning about life, learning about ourselves it takes experiences. It takes time. Like I, I've, I have no clue what my future holds, but I'm really excited for the journey. And when I used to stress about the future, like I said, I, I, I was recently a senior in high school and all I would think about is what is going to happen after I graduate instead of just living in the moment, 
I actually just got this bracelet. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it says live in the moment. Because there's so many times when we're with family or we're making memories with friends and we're thinking about what do we have to do tomorrow? What do we have to do next week? Or whatever. And we overthink instead of just living in the moment. Now, there's a lot of times where I've taken a lot of time and thought about what I need to do tomorrow or even what's going to happen in the future, like way down the line when I'm like with my grandparents and stuff. And since some of my grandparents have now passed in the last few years, I think back to that time and say, shoot, you know, I, I really wish at that moment in time I lived in the moment. Because quite honestly, we never know when this journey is going to end. Quite honestly, I mean, I could literally walk out of my house, get in my car, drive, and get into a car crash and die. Knock on wood, hopefully that doesn't happen. But seriously, you never know when it's going to be the last time that you say goodbye to people. And why worry and overthink when you can just live in the moment and believe that everything happens for a reason the dots will connect? Obviously, there is things that you should have planned out you know, you should think about um, for the future. But when you start trying to make big decisions in your mind way, way down the line and making up hypotheticals, that's when our that's when our minds just run amok. You know, we, we just go down this avenue of just hypotheticals and we don't even know if those things are actually going to really happen. And so if we just believe that everything happens for a reason, I promise you, it's really going to change your life. Something else that has helped me so well with not, you know, having anxiety with thinking about the future is manifestation. Charlie Rocket, this man changed my life. Honestly, I, I watched his podcast with Logan Paul, changed everything for me. I was really stressed out with what my future held after graduation. As you can tell, I, I was really stressed out about it. And uh, his whole idea of believing it already happened. Time just hasn't caught up yet. Whew, that hit me. Just visualizing myself. My One of my major dreams is to be a sideline reporter for the Red Sox. I can picture myself right now holding a microphone at Fenway and doing it. And if you believe that so much... You write that down every day and have that belief. It's already happened. Time just has not caught up yet. Trust me. It'll change your life. Trust me. And the way that you do it, because people always go, well, how do I start? How do I start manifesting? I don't have all the answers, but what's worked for me is just by writing down my hopes, goals, and dreams like it's already happened. I see myself, I will, I am. Those types of starting off your dreams with those types of sentences helps you really believe that's already happened. And with that belief, that's the key. You have to believe. You have to believe in yourself first. And the whole outside noise, social media, parents, family, doubts, you put that all aside. If you believe in yourself, in the dream and that it's your purpose and you have a passion for it, all the outside noise, all the crap of people trying to rip you down and tell you that you can't do it, the belief is all that matters. And manifestation, it's crazy when these things start happening in your life. It's like I said, everything happens for a reason. So I'm meant to be recording this video. You're meant to be watching and listening to this podcast. And I really appreciate it, seriously, for taking the time to listen to me talk about this stuff. But I hope it's helping because this stuff really changed my life, really changed my perspective. And I was a person who always worried about what was next. And now with this belief that it's already happened, Time just hasn't caught up yet. And lastly, I love when he says this, it's easy. You know, 
the person right now, Jemiah Webster, who is a sideline reporter for the Red Sox, he's just like me. He's human. And he had the same, I bet, stresses and worries that I did. Can I do it? Should I believe in myself? You know, comparing himself to other people. At least that's what I do. But I've tried to stop that because we all have one body. You know, you can't change this body. You can get stronger. You can get weaker. You know, you can change it. You can change the mode through like bettering yourself. But at the same time, like we only have this one body and we got to live with it. And if, if we just try each and every day to get better, live life to the fullest, remember that we only get every second once, every single day is going to be a blessing. Because like I said before, one of my last points, like what if you don't wake up tomorrow? Seriously. And you think in your mind, well, I'm young, you know, I got nothing wrong with me. Who knows? Who seriously knows? You don't. And it's crazy when you have that understanding of believing in yourself and just going towards a dream and not allowing anybody else to tell you that it can't happen. Because quite honestly, it's interesting how different, at least my generation and the generation above us is because they were just programmed to do everything they could and get a job and go to college because all that mattered was money. All that mattered was making money, being able to support a family, retire, and then that's when you live your life. For me, I feel like a lot of other people believe this as well, is that with social media, there's a lot more opportunity. With our generation, with, with this society, current society, there's a lot of opportunity. And if you want to go out there and live your dream, pick something that you think about is going to make you super happy when you wake up and try and think about different experiences that you've gone through that might connect to that certain purpose or dream. Don't think about the money because then the money will just make you more anxious. Oh, I'm not making enough. Or you compare yourself to other people. Why are they making more than I am? Because the money will come. And if you're able to live your life, living your purpose and your dream, and doing everything you can day in and day out to live this life to the fullest, you're going to live a rich and beautiful life. I believe that's what we're all destined for. So now let's get into some of the main methods that I've used that have been a ginormous help for me with easing my anxiety. Now, I'm not perfect. I still deal with anxiety every single day still compare myself to others. I still have perspective and mindset issues, but I get better every day. And that's all that matters. You know, this is all a process. This is all a journey. You're not, it's not going to be like one day snap of a finger, everything gets better. You know, it's a process. In these last three months, I, I've learned a lot more about myself and what's really helped. One of the major things is meditation. Meditation is huge. And there's a lot of stigma about, around meditation. There's a lot of misconceptions about meditation. What works for me is 10 minutes. I can't do the 20, 30 minutes. It's just very difficult for me to be able to focus that long. And so just start with two to three minutes. Even if it's five, you don't even have to go 10. But there's plenty of options on the internet for you to find good meditation. Now I've tried a lot of them and you, you got to find your own technique that works for me. I'll put it in the description below what works for me. And it's this meditation has quite honestly just changed. How I start my morning and everything. I think that's really the key is to having a routine, like a self care routine. For me, my anxiety starts in the morning because I start worrying about like, what do I have to do? And so my routine, I wake up, I do my 10 minute meditation. And with, with the meditation, it's all about just following your breath and just having that time to be able to just stop, relax and breathe. Because really, that's the best way to 
relieve your anxiety is the breath, focusing on your breath, because really that's the thing that fuels everything in our body is the breath. And find a meditation that has some sort of mantra. Mantras are really nice to be able to, you know, program your mind in this positive perspective. Something that's been huge for me as well is watching certain videos. Uh, TikTok has some really good motivational videos. I'll, I'll put some of them in the description as well. Um, but some of those have really helped a lot because they bring up simplistic ideas of different aspects of life that when we wake up, we don't fully realize. Kind of like I brought up is be grateful that you woke up today. Everything happens for a reason. One of the videos also says, uh, stop worrying about the little things and realize that we're all just on a floating rock in space. Nothing actually really matters. We're all literally just trying to figure out what the heck this is we call life. And as well as having that routine, doing it every single day, you'll get more comfortable with it. Obviously, it's going to take a week or so for you to be able to fully feel comfortable with it. But trust me. Just be patient, enjoy the process. Something else that's really helped is my intake. Now with social media, you can quite honestly control what you watch, what you look at. It's all about what you follow. And if you're following some stuff that really gives you anxiety and makes you anxious and you know stresses you out more than is a positive influence on your life, unfollow it. Literally, like I said, I, I watch motivational videos on TikTok all the time and it gets me in such a good mood, gets me so pumped up and that works for me. I've also watched some great podcasts. Another one is, like I said, um, Mike Studd, he has a great podcast. Ebb and Flow is a great podcast as well. Hotboxing is a great podcast as well. Just podcasts that help you think a little bit deeper. At least for me, that's really helped. But it's all about the intake. It, it really is. Because that really dictates where your mind goes and what you're going to think about and kind of molds your perspective and idea on different aspects of life. And also reading. Reading is, is a huge one as well. One book I'll recommend is by Evan Britton and Augustus Britton. And uh, it's called A Life, Lur a Life Worth Dying For. That book has changed my life and it really paints a great picture of the understanding of would you die for that? You know, so many people get so upset. You know, I didn't get this. I didn't get this book. I didn't get the, you know, actually people never usually say that. I didn't get this, these shoes. I didn't get this shirt. You know, why does this have to happen to me? But at the same time, when you're on your deathbed, would you die for that? That's a huge thing. Reading is, is really good, uh, like I mentioned. And, you know, I'll, I'll also put some great books that have really helped me in the description below. Other ones um, that connect similar to the idea that Eben and Augustus talk about. And the last thing is the people that you surround yourself with, your friends. Find like-minded people. Find people that think similarly to you. If you have somebody that is a negative influ influence in your life and all they do is throw their problems on you and talk to you about their problems and don't actually ask you about you, it might be an okay idea to uh, disconnect or not hang around that person as much. It's really all about, like, like I said with the intake, it's all about like the people that you surround yourself with. That's huge. And the biggest thing with comparing yourself to other people and this was a really interesting exercise is just think about who's really going to be at your funeral. What people do you really care about their opinion? That's really all that matters. Because like I've said throughout this entire episode, we're really all trying to figure out what the heck this life is. And if we have people around us who are able to help us go through this and we're able to help them, and have tons of great memories with those people. That's awesome. And with the same idea of everything happens for a reason. You were meant to be around those negative people. You were meant to be around those toxic people. 
to teach you in the future to change and look for people that are like-minded like you. I've had a lot of fun, quite honestly, recording this. And uh, it's, it's honestly, like, I, I wrote down some notes of some things that I wanted to say. And I really like how it's sort of all flowed out of me. Kind of like I said, I was a little bit nervous and anxious about recording this first episode um, of this new direction of Iggy Sports Talk because I'm talking about myself. I'm being vulnerable. And I really appreciate everybody who listened. Seriously, I, I really do. I hope this helped you in some way, shape, or form. Like I said, all, all the things that have like helped me, I'm going to put in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be down in the description. If you're watching this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, I'll also put that in the, in the description too. But uh, make sure that you go over and follow Iggy Sports Talk um, on Instagram. And uh, you can also follow myself, my personal. It's I am Jake Iggy. Um, I'm going to be coming out with some mental health merchandise as well. I also have uh, this hat right here. Um, it's all on iggysportstalk.com slash shop. If you want to support the brand, go for it. I'd really appreciate it. But uh, you just clicking on this video or this podcast, and even if you listen to a second, I really appreciate you and for you taking your time out of your day to listen to me and my story. I hope this helped in some way, shape, or form. I'm super duper excited for this next chapter of Vicky Sports Talk because this is actually me. And I'm really excited for the next uh, few episodes because I got some great guests planned. Um, but I hope everybody has a great rest of their week. Remember, everything happens for a reason. Stop making up hypotheticals in your mind and stressing yourself out. And lastly, live in the moment. I'm Jake Iggy. I'll see you guys next time.